Finally, on the channel, we've gone to a song which I would say is beginner level throughout, which is nice to start off with. If you're a beginner and you just want to learn a song, get to grips with playing the guitar, this is a brilliant, brilliant place to start. It's very much three chords. This one is a real classic from the Trogs, uh, and it's called Wild Thing. Lots of cool cover versions of this. Jimi Hendrix famously burnt his guitar at the end of a cover version of this. But just for beginners, and a great place to start, then uh, I'll show you how to play this one. It starts off with what is a super fun little intro, just a bend on the seventh fret. You wouldn't think that such a cool sound could come from just one note, but it really is just such a great little. And you bend it up to the eighth fret, but it's very flat. And then you go into your chords. So it's an A bar chord, as simple as that. You play it down twice. And then the next one you do is a, a quick sort of down up movement. So you're going from your A to a D. Just play it with the first finger there, third finger fat across all the rest of the strings. Make sure you don't catch the top one though. It's not a nice note to play. Well, it is in some situations, but not this one. So you're going to go... Take everything off and then open strings there. As you move then up to the uh, E major chord. And that acts as your intro, so... Then you're going to play this uh, next version of the riff around three times, which is very, very similar. There's just two fewer chords, so. And make sure when you're on that D on the return, it's got an up pick. fourth time it comes around it's slightly different I really struggled to learn how to play this for ages but I watched the official video and you can see the first finger barring across the four strings but the picking for some reason is down up down down Play it two more times after that to make four. Then we're going back into our opening riff again, as we learnt it before. Just play it through, follow the tab. We're going to play this five times. I won't do it all five times for you, but you'll get the picture. That carries on and then the build up to the ocarina solo which is hilarious uh, that it's even in this song so you've got I haven't written an approximation of the ocarina solo in this track because you just can't do it any justice I mean I would highly, highly recommend that you make up your own solo and just improvise around this kind of idea. A major. I mean, you can try it up here. If you want. Or, if you're like me and a massive uh, music geek, you can spend 10 years at the Royal Academy of Ocarina playing, uh, which I've done, obviously, for the purposes of this. 
video. <laughs> uh, and it is the world's easiest instrument to play. I mean, I couldn't believe it. It's got all these crazy looking holes on it. Uh, and I thought, oh, it's going to be so hard to play. But honestly, if you want to play the solo, if you're this dedicated like I am on the channel, How to Play Ocarina, it's a new side project. Uh, I think they're about 12 quid or something like that if you want to get hold of one, but it's fun to play around with, I must say. Um, although I think that that's the extent of my uh, rock or Karina. But there we go. It happened here on How to Play Guitar. Uh, let's go back into it then. Uh, now we repeat section A after this ocarina solo, if that's how you want to roll. Turn it up after the ocarina. <laughs> So you can repeat um, section A, you do it three times, not five, as I've written in the tab here, and then you go back to this awesome little... I love that so much, what a clever little bit of uh, guitar writing there. As we continue the song, you'll find that it's just the same kind of vibe with a different structure of chords, so you've still got... Interesting that this E major chord is played so many times. So you've got. Back into the main riff. Bring that round five times, and then the sixth time it starts to fade away. I mean, if you want to end it and you're doing a live version, I do. And that is the end of Wild Things. Such a cool little um, beginner level track. I think it's important to start off somewhere and, you know, just get the hang of your bar chords and then your major chord with the third finger coming across as well. It's just a really good one to practice your shapes. Once you've got that down, you can pick up the ocarina and take it from there to try and get that solo uh, nailed down. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed the fact that I actually was dedicated enough to buy an ocarina, uh, then do like and subscribe. And who knows, maybe next time we can find another ocarina track uh, to use this bad boy in.